I'm back with another one of our popular tools of the trade videos. Uh, we started doing these about 10 years ago to uh, showcase products that are not necessarily guns or not necessarily directly gun related, but things that uh, guys like us would appreciate. I hope you enjoy these videos. This is the 52nd one in the series, and uh, we'll keep doing them as long as we keep finding cool stuff. I've got a really neat little accessory here from the folks at American Tactical. It's made to fit the FXH-45 Moxie 1911 style hybrid pistol, which I, I reviewed not too long ago. It's a really great little 1911 style pistol uh, with a polymer frame and uh, lightweight. It's just a, it feels great in the hand. It shoots great. You can check out that review for more information on that. But this is specifically a uh, scope mount for this. Um, the FXH-45 has a little removable plate here right in front of the rear sight and uh, you can get this adapter which is basically about an inch and a half length of pick rail that screws right on there and it, it works wonderfully for this uh, it doesn't remove the rear sight and also obviously doesn't affect the front sight the little piece of rail is 1913 picatinny spec so it works wonderfully for a wide variety of uh, different optical sights the sight I've got on here is my favorite of all the RMR sights. It's Trijicon's RMR, part number RM08G. It's a really neat little sight. It uh, has a green triangle dot in it so that you can uh, you can sight it so that your tar target sits on top of that triangle point if you want to. That's what I do. And it allows you to shoot much more precisely than the uh, round dot sights do. Uh, some people like the round dot because they, you know, they may be a little bit faster, but uh, you get used to that triangle sight, then you can get the speed and you can get the precision that you want. If you're going to pay for a sight, you might as well pay for one that's going to be precise enough to complement a pistol that is in, as inherently accurate as is this little American Tactical. The thing I really love about the Trijicon RMR sights as compared to the other sights on the market is that they're always on and they never need batteries. They're uh, powered by a, tri a tritium insert in there that lights up during dark conditions. It also has a light bar on it. So when you get into brighter conditions, it automatically brightens up the reticle so that uh, you don't have to fool with any brightening knobs or anything like that. And it it's, it's never needs a battery, so you don't have to worry about it crapping out on you just when you need it the most. If something did happen, or if you're using this in a uh, with an RMR sight that does keep a battery, having the ability to co-witness your sights with this mount is a big deal. It's a very nice thing from uh, American Tactical. It's available for the FXH 45, and they're only like $24.95, I believe, is the current MSRP on these. I highly recommend these for this highly recommended pistol. been carrying this Taurus G3C Toro around in this really neat little holster. It's a skin tight holster from ccwbreakaways.com. It's a really neat design. When I first got it, I thought, what in the world is that thing? But I got to messing with it and it's really, really neat. It's a, it's, it's comprised, it's a patent pending design comprised of a thin layer of Kydex molded to a pistol. And outside of that, it's got a thin layer of rubber. The rubber uh, does really two things for you. First of all, it'll give just enough to let it let it grip your weapon securely. Uh, it, it'll take a, a number of different uh, different small pistols, but it uh, it works just great, and it'll it, it that allows the pistol to be held securely, and it comes out really easily. It adds no bulk to anything. It's just really a great design, and uh, it it adds nothing to the weapon size, but it slips in the pocket really easily. But the rubber, besides 
helping hold the gun in it also makes it to where it doesn't want to come out of your pocket it also doesn't shift around in your pocket as a lot of smaller holsters might do but uh, this one here it, it leaves the holster in your pocket and it's just it works wonderfully it, it adds no bulk to it it adds no weight to it and it stays in your pocket it stays put and it presents really quickly from ccwbreakaways.com they're $24.95 and they're made to fit either small or medium frame autos. Check them out at ccwbreakaways.com. Folks like me, and I suspect many of you, that carry a gun all the time also carry other things that are ancillary but are also handy like pocket knives and flashlights that's what i'm here to talk to you about today is flashlights i carry a light all the time i use them every day and uh, i'm kind of a flashlight nut i've got a bunch of flashlights every time something new comes out i've got to have it i've got to give it a try i've always liked the lights that streamlight makes they're a good bunch of folks and they make a great product at a reasonable price and i've always Always carry the ones that have the little fat batteries and stuff like that and that fit easy into your pocket but uh, recently they've started making them that uh, have a, have an in internal rechargeable battery and you can charge them up on a USB and that is so handy because it takes a standard USB charge like if you, for your phone or whatever and uh, they're just great here a little while back I tested out the MicroStream USB light they're great they're tiny they're bright they're just wonderful little lights but they've recently come out with a newer version that is a little bit bigger but it's still plenty portable and plenty easy to carry in your pocket this is called the macro stream usb from the folks at streamlight and it's a great little flashlight the macro stream as its name implies is quite a bit more powerful than the micro stream which is a, a wonderful dandy little all-around light these run in two modes they've got a 500 lumen mode which is a really bright deal and uh, they also have a 50 lumen mode that you can easily switch to just by tapping the tail cap to cycle between the modes the 500 lumen mode is really bright it'll take care of anything you need taken care of with a flashlight it runs for two hours on, at constant on with the 500 lumen mode the beam projects to 90 meters they say and it's it's works great and two hours is way a lot it's a lot of life uh considering that you only use them for a minute or two at a time typically and if you want the the the, the dimmer mode is 50 lumens and uh it, it'll run for eight hours on the 50 lumen mode and i have checked that out that is an accurate estimate of the power but they recharge in four hours and i have checked that out and that is also accurate to recharge it all you do is it is the case is made out of aircraft grade aluminum but the front part of it slides forward and that reveals the uh, usb plug in it it's also got a charge light red for charging green for charge it's just a, a wonderful little light the tail cap cycles easily between the two modes it also includes a belt clip that is a double belt clip so that meaning that uh, it doubles back on itself and if you want to you can mount it onto the brim of a hat so that you got your hands free or you can just do like I do and stick it in your mouth maybe not the most sanitary thing in the world but what the heck um, these are great lights I highly recommend them I use them I've been using this as my everyday light for about three months now and I've got no complaints whatsoever with it it's a wonderful little light from the folks at Streamlight the macro stream USB is water resistant to IPX4 standards. It is uh, impact resistant to one meter. I have carried this thing for three months now and it's not even skinned up. I've dropped it about like you would normally drop them. I've been out in the rain with it and all that kind of stuff. It's taken it all. It's rugged. It's reliable. As do many like-minded individuals, I have a standard pocket load that I carry every day. Uh, everything goes in the same pockets in the same position every day so i never have to look for anything that's vitally important when it comes to where your gun is and uh, i keep that in a back pocket and so i keep my wallet in a front pocket this 
a little bit bigger than the micro stream USB and I was concerned about how well it would ride alongside my wallet but there was no problems with it whatsoever it's comfortable to carry I've carried it all day every day for about three months now the macro stream is four and a half inches long it weighs a very light weight 2.2 ounces you don't even know what's in your pocket it's also protected by streamlights lifetime warranty i highly recommend you get you one of these these are dandy little flashlights msrp on the streamlight macro stream usb is 90 dollars uh, as of this date and you can find these in a lot of different locations you're not going to pay 90 dollars for them they're uh they're really rugged they're durable they're just a dandy little light from the folks at streamlight